Hello everyone, my name is Loco and I really want to be ranking up in Hearthstone. I know, I, I always said that I wanted to read Legend or at least like uh, rank 5 or lower in Hearthstone. Or higher rather, I guess, um, you know, you know, below rank 5, so like rank 4, 3, 2 or 1. And I've been wanting, I've been wanting that for quite a while, but... You know, I've never really gotten around to playing this game a whole lot, even though I enjoy it a ton. So, I figured I'm going to be documenting my way to reach, hopefully, uh, what will be Legend at some point. I think I can do it. I think I can do it if I play a sufficient amount. So, um... Honestly, I'm not the best player in this game, so if I make any misplays, let me know in the comment section right below that like button, because uh, I think that's gonna be the best way to improve. So if I make some major misplays uh, in these videos, make sure to let me know, because uh, I want to be improving, and uh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm pretty bad at this game right now. I want to be better, though. So let's let's jump straight into it. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be facing a hunter. As you can see, I'm currently only rank 18. I haven't really played all too much. And this is a deck, by the way, that I'm using. Um, that will be in the comment section or in the uh, in the description below uh, that like button. So uh, let's see. What do we want? Uh, I haven't really played this deck yet. I've tried it once. Uh, it seems pretty solid. Um, I'm gonna just keep this starting hand for now. It's two ones, one two, and one three mana cards. So that should be pretty solid. And obviously, since I'm turn two, I also get the coin. And <coughs> Whoa! Excuse me. I'm almost choking on myself right there. Um, that sounded gross, didn't it? Anyway, um, I'm playing a hunter. Obviously, um, it's the class that I've personally been playing the most, so I know for a fact that, um, you know, there's a whole lot of trickery that a hunter can do. And the one thing, the one rule that we're gonna try and keep is not play any more than maybe three to four minions on the board. But ideally we want like two or three minions, uh, simply because of Unleash the Hounds. Now the card did get nerfed recently, so instead of two mana it now costs three mana, but we will find out. We will find out together. Okay, turn number two. Now the question is, do we play Knife Juggler or do we play um, the Dire Wolf Alpha? He doesn't really have anything to kill my Knife Juggler and obviously um, that's going to probably be the best choice right now to play the Knife Juggler. Um, so we can actually uh, have some use out of it very soon. <clears throat> now, I do know, I've, I've streamed this game a couple of times on Twitch TV and people kept commenting that I was playing too fast. So, oh god. That is likely gonna be a, a, a one of these fire things, the flame one. Either that or he's gonna kill something that I spawn. Let's have a look. Uh, it's always tricky. What do I do in these sort of situations? Do I just taunt? You shall not uh, yeah, this is definitely he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna flame me as soon as I do a uh, use an ability. Let's just life tap and uh, go to the next turn. It's kind of tricky. I hope for a fact that he wouldn't have had that, but. Should I just attack him and get rid of the flaming strike or flame strike rather? Um, I mean, I don't have anything to detect it, right? So I might as well. I think I'm gonna have to, pretty much. Let's see. Well, it's gonna be a flame strike. Here we go. Or explosive trap, rather, whatever it's called. Not ideal, but I guess it could have been worse. I did get rid of it right there. Um, I wasn't completely sure if that was the best move right there, though. Mm. I mean, I need to get rid of that flame strike at some point in the game, right? And I still have board control up to this point. I still have a lot of cards here as well. It can be very useful, but... Anyway, people were telling me that I was playing a little bit too quickly, so... You know, I had to I had to slow down a little bit and, and, and think about stuff a little bit more. Okay. So this card is one of these cards that can really get out of control. Um, especially when uh, Unleash the Hounds is used, which he obviously can, so... Um, he will he will likely have Unleash the Hounds. I do have a Soul Fire right now, so I can nuke it down. So I think that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Um, let's see. Um, I don't want to play too many minions. That's the thing. I'm gonna buff up my minion right there. I still need to be careful for Unleash the Hounds, but I'm gonna play a fourth card as well, and then I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay, so we do use the lose the abusive sergeant. It's a bit annoying, but we will see. If he plays an Unleash the Hunt right now, it will only have um, it will only have plus one plus one anyway. Like only one one cards aren't going to be the biggest threat, but we will see. We will see what he does. He might have a uh, a Hunt as well to actually buff them up to plus two plus two or plus two plus one rather. But we will see. He does have a lot of cards in his hands though, but we look to be in pretty firm position right now. What are you gonna do, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hunter? Let's actually turn on the sound. I don't currently have the sound on. The 
Buzzard. Oh, oh, Timberwolf. No Unleash the Hounds, though, because that's going to be a 3-mana card now, so I can't play that. Uh, but we're going to have to get rid of these cards, because um, both of them are, can be very, very annoying. At the end of your turn, give a random, or a, not a random friendly minion plus one, which is nice. So I'm just going to get rid of both of these units. Um... Probably gonna have to kill him like that. Get rid of him as well. And then play the armor smith life tap. Uh should we play that? I mean that's gonna get risky though, but I already killed a timber wolf. And if he ha does have an on Okay, I'm just gonna do it. YOLO, YOLO. I know people in the comment section are gonna be loco. What the fuck are you doing? That was that was awful, you don't do that, dude, but. You know, I do have these uh, these things right now, and actually both of them buff the shield bearer, which isn't uh, which isn't awful, considering if he does play Unleash the Hounds, which he's likely gonna do right here. Um, actually, no. Wow. Hmm. Well, that's okay with me. That's okay with me. I do need to like uh, lose a couple of these minions though, because it's gonna be a, a bit tricky if I keep going with this much stuff. Um. Just do it like this. There we go. Um, gonna life tap once more. Gonna life tap once more. Okay, that's nice to uh, nuke him down at the end of the game if it's necessary. Um, I think we will be able to kill him next turn, though. <laughs> we should be able to kill him next turn. How much damage am I at? That's three seven. 10, 12, um, plus obviously the Doom Guard, uh, which is uh, very strong. Oh well, that's a, that's a bit too bad, but uh, let's have a look. Can we still do it? We will be at 7 mana next turn, so that must mean 5, 8, 5, 8, 9, 10. Mm. It's a bit annoying, but... Oh, this is a charge as well. We still have the coin. It's 5, it's 9... Uh, 10, 11, so we will just barely not be able to kill him. Hmm... Guess we should just play it smart then, if I won't be able to kill him this turn. We do have the coin, but... Gonna have to uh, play another card as well, I'm gonna play him. Okay. Well, that should be GG next turn, though. Like, I don't see how he could really come back into this game. Uh, obviously, I still do have the Doom Guard, which is indeed 5 attack, and it does have charge, so I can instantly use that. Meaning that as long as one minion stays alive, I should be good to go. I should be good to go. Okay, he's just uh, kill commanding everything on the board, but like I said, as long as one of them stays alive, I'm a happy person. Actually, I do have the Elf and Archer as well, so it's GG anyway. Yeah. He doesn't nuke me down. Okay, there we go. So that's the first game that actually uh, worked out very well. Um, I probably made a couple of misplays. Like I said, let me know in the comment section though, but let's jump into game number two. Oh, looks like we actually faced another hunter right here, which is cool. Um... I'm, I'm also quite happy with this starting hand, to be honest. A 1-mana card, a 2-mana card, and the Direwolf Alpha is also a pretty solid card early on, so... Considering he's a hunter, I'm just... I'm just gonna stick with this. I'm just gonna stick with this. Let's have a look. Oh, so we got two taunts right now. This one can attack, the other one can't. So I might as well play the Void Walker first instead of the Shield Bearer. Let's see what my opponent has to offer right now. He will have the coin. It's always something that I need to keep in mind, especially when you play against hunters that go for like combinations. Uh, sometimes at least the hunt and timber wolf and the buzzard and you know hyenas can be very tricky, so we need to keep counting his mana for at least a little while. Um Question is, what do we play? Knife juggler? Oh the die wolf alpha doesn't really have much use since I need to be taking out the leper now. So I'm gonna just play the knife juggler first. Hit him in the face. 
and uh, take the two damage on my hero and end my turn. I think that's uh, that would that'd probably be the best turn right now. You know the music in this game? I think this music is still gonna be stuck in my head once I'm like. You know, once I'm probably like uh, like 60 years old, I will probably still be uh, humming this song. He's really gonna kill command. Okay. He really wants to get rid of my knife jungler right there. I guess he's uh, afraid of the Zulox. <laughs> Just do it like this. So I don't want to go over. I don't want to go over three minions. I think that's gonna be a bad move. Uh, but as long as we're like this, we should be good to go. He might have unleashed the hounds or another secret. That is annoying. Secrets are annoying. Um. So the thing is, there's a couple of hunter secrets, right? A couple of them will trigger once I spawn a unit, and a couple of them will trigger once I actually attack a minion, and a couple will trigger as soon as I attack his hero. And there's a big chance that it is the same one as in the previous game. Which would be very annoying. Um, so I need to make sure that only does two damage. So I could keep this guy alive if I play the defender of Argus, but I don't know. We will see. Will it trigger right now? It won't. Well, I think I'm gonna lose two minions here. Oh well. Yep. It's once again the explosive trap. So. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what is the best way to deal with an explosive trap? Because I'm not really aware of it. Is this the way to do it? Because I don't have anything in my deck to, like, detect it. I just need to eat the pain, I suppose, right? Like, that cost me two minions, I suppose, but... Ah! 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 That is, that is, that is not what I hoped for. Let's see what we draw. Uh, we got an arcane golem, but that's obviously gonna give him a card, so I don't really want that. I can life tap and sun cleric, uh, but I obviously then won't make use of the of the battle cry. So let's see what we life tap first. Okay, let's do it like this. It's need to, we need to be careful though that we don't lose map control or board control. Well, not map control. Okay, this isn't Starcraft. But we need to make sure that we don't lose uh, board control in this game. I found that pretty much every time that happens, it just slowly but surely. Uh, Gets out of my reach. Mm, okay, okay, that's cool. Let's first life tap it. Um, gonna taunt that. I'm gonna give that minion plus one plus one. I Meaning it can hit a little bit harder, and obviously behind a taunt, that plus one health. Um, that plus one health. Um, you know, at the end of each turn, it's very, very useful. Let's see. What you doing, Mr. Hunter? I see you hovering over these cards. I think he really wants to be playing his, um, his Unleash the Hound cards. I remember when I was playing a lot of Hunter, that card was absolutely golden. It can literally turn a game around. Like, Buzzard, Unleash the Hound's Timberwolf is so strong, and he obviously can't do that right now, but looks like that is an Argent Commander. Interesting choice. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? He just wasted that. Wow, that was that was quite impressively bad. Did I, did I miss something right there? That minion had four health. This minion has extra four health. He just wasted... Yeah, he just wasted a Hunter's Mark. Okay. That, that is okay with me, sir. That's okay with me. Gonna life tap it once more. Play the defender of Argus. Uh, should we get rid of that minion? He's gonna be forced to attack me and get rid of it anyway next turn, right? So I might as well hit him in the face. I think that's gonna be my best bet instead of me losing a minion. Okay, end the turn. Yeah, he's probably forced to really uh, kill this one with uh, with the Argent Commander anyway. Oh, Timberwolf, unleash. We must no unleash? Okay. Why are you buffing that? It's gonna die this turn. Is it gonna die this turn, sir? Unless you don't do anything with it, but... There would be an interesting choice on your side of things. Well, oh, he does kill it. Interesting. Okay, so let's see how much damage we can do. That is six damage. 
Um, that is 10 damage, 11 damage we can deal in this turn. 11 damage, so we won't be able to kill him this turn, but... Let's have a look. Well, at the very least I'm gonna life tap. Ooh. Does that change thing around, things around? That is 6. Um, I can still play this, would be, be 10. And then we have a soul fire, yeah, that's GG. Nice. Oh, actually! Oh no, never mind, never mind. Okay, cool. Let's just hit him in the face, use the soul fire, and finish it off. Awesome, so we win the second game as well. Uh, pretty convincingly, actually. Nice. Let's jump into another one. Okay, it looks like it's going to be a Warlock versus a Paladin this time around. Let's have a look. I don't need two Sun Clerics, and I also don't need an Argent Commander for now. I do want to keep the Dire Wolf, and I think I also want to keep the Shattered Sun Cleric. As long as I get another two mana draw, or maybe a one mana draw, that'd be awesome. Let's have a look. Oh, yep, yep, the Flame Man. We actually haven't seen those yet today. That's nice. It's actually a really, really nice one mana card. Now, I'm not too familiar, honestly, with uh, with Paladins. I just do know that Paladins can be very, very annoying. But here we go. That's pretty much uh, probably the one, or the best uh, one mana card that I got in my deck. So we will see. Very solid card. Um, what it does is basically deals 3 damage to myself, but at 1 mana at the very first turn you do have a 3-2 card, uh, which is obviously very, very good. Let's have a look. Um, so what do we do right now? We do have 2 Dire Wolf Alphas. Um, they do all have 2 health, which means you can't kill it. Um, I could life tap right now, or I could I could coin coin Sun Cleric, but I don't think that is going to be very useful. I'm gonna just go with the uh, with the Dire Wolf, with the Dire Wolf for now. Hit him in the face, and my turn. Now I do think I always play the coin a little bit too late, so maybe it would have been better for me to actually um, to actually play the coin as well as the plus one plus one on this minion right here. But we'll see. Well, actually. Considering he right now plays the Iron Free Grizzly, I guess we're uh, we're better off doing it like this. Okay, so how are we gonna clean up this thing? We can play the Sun Cleric, but we will need to figure out. We can also kill, or we can also do the Soul Fire, which might actually be my best option right now, because then I don't lose my uh, my board control. I would also like to put out a Taunt though. I think this is going to be the correct move. I think this was the correct move. Uh, we do lose uh, a couple of cards, but we are in a very, very firm position right now. We are at 10, or at 10 health right now, or at 10, uh, 10 damage we can deal right now, and he has 19 health left. Um, and obviously with this one added, we are at 14 damage we can deal next turn. So if we get like a commander or... Actually, we're only at 3 mana, so we can't really do that yet, but... Ah, oh, that's too annoying, the Hammer of Wrath killing my Imp, but... Not the worst, not the worst. And that obviously pretty much cost him his turn, right? So he killed the, uh... He killed the one Imp in exchange for the turn, and that's gonna cost him quite a lot of damage, so... We'll see. Oh, he actually also gets rid of that himself. How sweet of him. Actually, we wouldn't be at 4 mana, that's my bad. Um, I should have thought better about where I was gonna put that Sun Cleric, by the way, because it's, it's not benefiting from the Dire Wolf. Let's life tap it up. Get another Taunt out. Mm. Let's look like this. Let's do it like this and just hit him in the face. I should have done that a bit better, though. This thing could have been at 5, uh, five attack right now. But well, we will see what he does. He's already hovering over that card right there. So what is he gonna do? Show it to me, Mr. Paladin. <laughs> what kind of trickery do you have? Oh, actually, it's not too bad. Okay. So let's see what we can do. At the very least, we can do another life step. And we have a soul fire. Okay. So how much damage can we deal? He keeps, <laughs> he keeps saying that I play well. I will thank him. Um, we will need to get rid of this card first, because obviously it is a taunt. 
which means we need to deal six damage. Six damage we can do to him. Then we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because they will actually deal with each. I think I can kill him. Um, so actually, wait, 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 wait. Gotta play these cards first. Oh, what the fuck? No! Loki, what do you do? That was unnecessary! You could have killed him! You could have killed him! Couldn't I? I would have just barely not been able to kill him, but that was silly of me. Very unnecessary. <laughs> Actually, yes, I could have killed him! Why did I put this Void Walker in the middle? <laughs> Dang it! Oh well, we should, we should still be good. I highly doubt he manages to clean up the entire board in this turn. Uh, I do also still have like four taunt cards in my deck, but or four uh, four charge card in my deck, but yeah, that that should still be game. Oh, that was a silly mistake by me though. Give a minion divine shield. Now all you need. No, okay, that's not gonna do very much. I was gonna say all he needs was uh, giving him a taunt as well, but. Uh... We do end up winning this game too. So let me know all of the misplays that I didn't point out myself already in the comment section below. Um, I'm pretty glad we managed to win all three games, however, but I'm gonna have to end this episode right here. If you want me to make more, just let me know as well. I wanna thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello everyone, my name is Loco, and welcome to a new StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm video. Today we're gonna be focused